Well, it's the other side of Bursby Park. Tent City was forming in here. Bylaw RCMP came in here today and removed it all. So we're just down here to have a look to see if we got all cleaned up. They said they were going to take care of everything, so if they did, hats off to them. So far, it's looking pretty good. So far, so good. It's getting to be quite a few tents set up here. I think we're up to 16 or something. We're we'll having a power nap down there. Hopefully, I'll go down and check on him here in a bit. But Stuff's been taken out down there. That's good. I almost say by the Tracks are down here, they brought some equipment in. Pushed her all up, fucking oh my god. The side of that bank. Holy fuck. Here, I'll go show you that. There, I was thinking, oh, we're gonna get away, we don't gotta do nothing down here. Wrong. Tent city there, it's all done, taken down. And there's all been taken down. Oh, them have 
bank, see it better from back up the hill. Go down here and see if a little better shot of it. Stuff all ridiculed through the bushes there. I'm gonna close the shot, maybe I'm gonna go a little higher up. There's a lot of shit down there. But, due to rules and regulations, compensator bylaw and all those, I'm unable to uh, touch these banks. Hence the reason we do what we do. Because we don't give a shit. We touch them. Both Les and I are experienced climbers. I don't need a license to tell me I can climb a friggin' mountain. And I certainly don't need consent. And over here a little bit. Zoom on that bank from what I can see. Uh, there's garbage all the way up the hillside. Packed a couple of bins worth of uh, a little better view of the garbage coming all the way down the embankment. Packed a bunch of garbage out of the Halliburton site today. A couple of truckloads worth, anyways. Probably got at least another three, maybe four truckloads in there. To haul out. And that fucker tell ya, you know, all my shit was down here, so they did a lot of cleaning today. Go up onto the next level and see what that looks like. Camp's taken down and here and down. A little bit of garbage and stuff left in there, but nothing too bad. Bags worth.
<laughs> oh. Still working on getting over this damn virus. One day you feel great, next day you feel like ass. Back and forth, back and forth. Of course, I'm too stubborn to lay down and die and fucking just call it a fucking week or so. Every time I feel good, it's like, poof, time to go do something. And the next day, it kicks my ass. Well, definitely happy to see all the cleanup that happened. Thank you, by law and Parks and Recs and whoever else was involved. Saved us a lot of time. Black squirrel climbing the bank. Crossing the bridge here. A few that are still lingering around, so drop the camera down to the ground until I get by them all. Just out of respect. Well, I'm just going to go down and check on this person down here and make sure they're all right. Should be just doing the nod, hard to say. Checking to make sure you're okay. <laughs>
Uh, that person's all right. Good to see. <coughs> <coughs> Well, see, there's still a little bit of a camp set up on that one side there. Didn't look inside or anything, but could be just a sit down spot to stay out of the rain, it's hard to say. Shit in the creek over there. Anybody recognize the sign? I'm glad to see somebody's using a garbage can. sweep through. Did a pretty good job cleaning up too. A little bit on the banks, but that's under, understandable, you know. They have the rules to follow. As dumb as they maybe are, but there's still rules. It's a nice thing about us is we're just doing our civic duty. Whatever donations we can get from people is what we can get, basically. You know, we're not going to make a million dollars at this, but a couple of bucks here and there to help offset the costs does make a difference. Thanks and appreciation from the city and everybody else is always definitely appreciated. And I don't know too many people that boo people for cleaning up messes so this is one angle we found we can come in on and private landowners don't care nobody cares because we're cleaning up a mess that well, our government created they took away too many resources and left this mess behind Cost of living's going through the roof. Hydro's raising their rates. ICBC's raising their rates. Everybody's raising their rates. The only thing that's not raising is the income coming in. Now we wonder why we got this backlash of problems. Greed, greed, and more greed. What I'm really happy to see is nobody set up behind that rock over there. One of my most favorite spots just to go sit and relax. Maybe do a little fishing. It's right there.
beautiful picturesque scene. So, the new town city is down. I'm sure another one is already formulating someplace else. We're already getting reports. Tents popping up over in the Jingle Pot area. That's cool and everything else. Like, people gotta have a place to stay. Like, there's no doubt about that. Especially in the rain season. I think it's not something you can just pack up daily because, well, your shit's wet. You're not packing it up. Pack it up, it gets moldy, and then you got a whole new fucking problem. I see both sides of the fence. Both sides are shitty. <laughs> and this management uh, government that we have is running us into the ground. Shouldn't be allowed, but it is. <coughs> Excuse me. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Slowly but surely joining the world. What the hell is going on up there? Bunch of tarps and fucking plastic draped all down the embankment. And there's cliffs and everything else to climb down to get to it. The only ones qualified to do this job, by law, dumb laws it is, search and rescue. Do you think search and rescue is going to come out and clean these embankments? Not a chance. They got far more important things to deal with. City's restricted on what they can do because compensation interferes, environment board interferes. Everybody's sticking their nose into everybody else's business. And in today's society, seems to be a common occurrence. This shit needs to stop. I understand everybody has the right to be offended. But you also gotta understand that it's our right not to give a shit. You have the right to your views, but you do not have the right to enforce your views on anybody else. We're in it for nature. Nature can't speak for itself. She can't fight for herself. Not against us. We're a friggin' virus. With no cure. I love my country. I love the people in my country. But I'm really not liking how shit has gone downhill in the last 20 years. The snowflake generation needs to come to an end. Are these messes you guys keep seeing on our sites? They're only gonna keep getting worse. And with everybody's hands tied, it's not gonna get any better. It's time to start untying some hands. Sure, you're gonna offend this person, you're gonna offend that person. Really, it doesn't matter. Get the shit done, right? This is our planet, our home, our life. And if we keep shitting all over it, we're gonna have no planet, no life. Time to act is now, not later. Government needs to pull their head out of their ass, quit helping other countries. 
because ours is going into turmoil. And before it ends up like Europe and everybody else, we got the most beautiful country in the world, that besides the United States. And both our countries are taking a shit kicking. Because of bullshit laws and bullshit rules. Well, once once again, no. Hands off to city bylaw. Everybody pulling in, cleaning that mess up. Though, those campers did keep their areas remotely clean, and I really hope I uh, gave them enough time to uh, clean their shit out, at least most of it anyway, before they came in. But most of those people in there were good people. A little housing development going on beside my house. We got another one going on over there. This area is growing. Whether this is all low income, I highly doubt it. Ocean front view, all that good stuff. Somehow I doubt it. Well, these guys probably ain't getting an ocean front view. Well, maybe one of them or two of them might. We get a nice river view. Cleared all the trees out in here and everything else. Area's growing, city's growing. City needs to learn to focus on more important things because you can't beautify your city when you got the shit that we are cleaning up. Not on a once a week basis. This could be a daily basis. And I would go daily, 100% of the way. But the funding's got to be there. And I'm not playing the government's rules. They can just kiss my ass. I didn't create this mess, but I'm willing to clean it up. And like all of us, we got families. We got shit that we need to support can't focus on something daily which needs it daily if you gotta take time out to make side money to pay the bills and this that and the other thing this is without a shadow of a doubt a full time job But it's not a job that I'm willing to give the government the slightest inch of credit for. Because they caused it. I'm not paying taxes on it. I'm not paying shit to clean up something they caused. In a nutshell, we're going gung ho. We're not stopping. We're just gonna get more popularity and just keep on going. Right is right. It's time to stop worrying about everything else. Do what needs to be done. You want a better place? It's called get off your ass and change it. You all have a good night.